Today we're gonna talk about PBR Bridge, which is a Blender add-on that offers a non-destructive automated texture workflow between a Blender and industry standard software, software such as Quick Mixer, Substance Painter, and Armor Paint. With this add-on, you don't have to focus on model importing and exporting when working on your projects, which can be time-consuming and tedious sometimes. It can actually help you when it comes to operations such as joining meshes, creating shaders, baking material IDs, or applying modifiers, which can be repetitive and boring sometimes to do these things over and over again. Also, this will allow you to focus your energy on creativity instead. You can simply switch between Blender and your PBR texturing software to retouch your modeling, UVs, UDIMs, etc. This can potentially save you a lot of time and makes the tedious manual tasks much easier and helps you focus on your art much better. The main functionalities of this add-on can be simply summarized into operations. Editing with Quick Mixer, Substance Painter and Armor Paint, also synchronizing maps and creating shaders. If we want to dive deeper, the add-on functionalities allow you to do a lot of things. Firstly, PBR Bridge auto-generates color material IDs and auto-bakes material IDs with UDIMs. Using it, you don't have to apply any modifier or remove final displacements. This will allow you to keep a non-destructive workflow, which is good for multi-res sculpting. Additionally, you can use separated meshes without even worrying about joining them or selecting them. Plus, this add-on auto creates quick mixer, substance painter, and armor paint projects with up-to-date FBX and OBJ and material ID maps. Also, it has UDIM support in addition to advanced PBR shader, which will produce cavity and different surfaces from other generated maps. This add-on can also save you the effort of diving into shaders because all you need to do is to tweak all the material attributes from within the viewport. Finally, PBR Bridge adds the final displacement and subdivision with UDIM support from the generated displacement maps. Overall, I think that this add-on is good because it solves a common problem. So if you want to check it out, you can find the necessary links in the description. If you found this video to be useful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.